the semicolon on the end of my line there. Okay, so you can see that. Oh, sorry, string rev. Okay, let's go refresh. Oh no. Okay, again, yep, sorry, I've added that. So it's strrev. You can probably tell I don't use this function too often, um, but just for demonstration purposes, you can see that what it's done now is reverse the string. Now, um, I've just actually, while I've been doing this tutorial, thought of a good way that this might be used. Um, probably not recommended to, but let's say we uploaded an, uh, a um, file, say, called image.jpg. Um, we could echo string reversed, and we could do the substring of this, um, and we could get the first, say, three uh, three letters, which would return our file type. However, if you think about it, this actually wouldn't work because uh, it could be JPEG or um, JPEG. So uh, that's the string reverse function. Uh, just thought I'd drop it into this video anyway. Um, if you can find a use out of it, that's great. Um, the only use I can think of it is for novelty use, um, but there we are. So the next uh, function we're going to look at is slightly more useful. It is comparing two strings for similarity. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of everything here and we can start from scratch. Okay, so we use this function slightly differently. Let's go ahead and create two strings and we're going to calculate the percentage and similarity between two strings. Now you can use this in a variety of functions, for example, um, two people's, well I can give you an example, uh, plagiarism for example. If you were checking for plagiarism between two different, uh, say, essays written, you could use this similar text function and it would return the percentage and similarity. Uh, between each essay for example but obviously in this example we're just going to be dealing with simple strings so I'm going to say string 1 is equal to um, this is my essay I'm going to be talking about uh, PHP for example let's go ahead and escape that character there um, string 2 might equal this is my essay, let's say someone was to slightly change an essay, I will be talking about um, the subject PHP. Now what we can actually do here is we can now use the string function to compare the percentage and similarity between these two strings. So let's go ahead and say similar underscore text. It's not required to put into a, a variable because we're going to be returning the result within the uh, within the uh, function in one of the arguments and then echoing that back out. So the three arguments we need to pass are string 1, string 2, and then we need a result variable here. So we've got this result here which we can then go and echo out. So we could say the similarity between um, between is and then we can append on result and let's put that there so the similar but similarity between is uh, let's go ahead and refresh uh, you can see it's 78 percent so for example if you if this was a um, if this was a long essay and the, the similarity was 78 percent there's obviously something you know wrong here um, for example if we can were to completely change uh, this string my essay is about PHP um, I'm going to be talking about everything to do with PHP uh, let's just go ahead and escape that let's go ahead and refresh and you can see that the uh, percentage has dropped significantly um, however if this was a longer string there would be more to compare and if they were very different you'd get something completely different so for example my essay is about uh, cats. Um, I'll let's escape that. Be talking about cats and their mm, colours. That'd be nice. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and refresh, and you can see that the similarity drops still. So that's how you use this function, and uh, I've given you an example of why it might be useful. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some uh, more simpler functions. Let's go create our string here. That's going to be equal to this is an example string. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to be talking about uh, is the string length. 
So string length is equal to, and this function is called strlen with no underscore, and then you just um, feed in the string that you want. This is a really, really useful, um, really, really useful function because, for example, if you were validating a form and you wanted to check that the length wasn't any bigger than a specific amount, you could then just uh, use this inside an if statement to check um, the string length. For example, if the name you know the the name of the user or the username uh, wasn't meant to be any more than 25 characters you could say something like if uh, string length uh, is smaller than 25 uh, then we can you know say yep yeah, that's absolutely fine uh, otherwise we could uh, produce an error just for an example so let's go ahead and echo out the string length just to uh, give you an idea of what this returns so it will return an integer value uh, this counts the characters so we've got 26 uh, that seems about right that's including the full stop as well so it's any text uh, inside of here 